It's a pleasure having you again, my friends. And in this video, we're going to be looking at rule number two when working with exponents or indices. And that rule has to do with division. OK, in the previous video, we had looked at the first rule that had to deal with multiplication. Now, here it states when dividing indices or exponents of the same base, you subtract the powers. OK, and that's simply put. Now, here we have a, a, an example in its general form. We have the base a raised to a power of m divided by base a raised to a power of n. OK, and that is equal to the base a, which is common to both. We just rewrote that and we took the m and we're subtracting n from that okay and that's just in its general form now let's just look at some quick exercises which will bring out the whole concept as to what is happening here we have a note here simplify leaving your expert leaving your answers rather in index form and if you had completed the first lesson meaning the previous video the one to the before this you you would understand what we mean by now when we're leaving answers in index form okay guys so you could always uh, watch that video if you hadn't watched it before. Now, let's just quickly look at, a, look at a couple of examples just to reinforce the whole concept. In example number one, let's say I have a base two, okay? And that is raised to the fifth power. And I'm dividing a, another base two, and that is raised to the second power, okay? To the second power. Now, based on what the rule is saying, okay? This is saying I have a common base two since the bases are the same. And let's just circle that. This is a very important piece of information, this phrase here, because if the bases aren't the same, we can't, we can't do what we're doing now. We can't subtract the powers, okay? The bases must be the same. So this would be a common base two. And since I have a five here at the front, I'm going to say five. And since I'm dividing, I must subtract the powers and I'm subtracting two from that. So this would be really equal to base two raised to the third power. OK, and this is what we mean by leaving our answers in index form. We're not going to work this out. OK, we know that this would give us an eight. However, we were asked to leave our answers in index form. So this is how we are going to leave our answer, a base raised to a power. Now, let's look at the general idea behind this. Why? Why is it that when working with indices of the same base, we subtract the powers? Now, let's just look at the concept, guys. What this is saying, right? And this is a second method. Let's just, let's just make a note here. This is a second method, okay, of working out a problem like this. If you notice, initially, what I had up top, I have, I have up top, I have two is multiplying itself five times. So this is really two times, two times, two times, two, okay, times another two. Okay, let's count them one, two, three, four, five. So that is really two multiplying itself five times. Now, if you notice, I have a division sign. So I'm just going to simply draw a line to suggest I'm dividing. And I'm really dividing two is multiplying itself two times. So I'm really dividing, my friends, by two, two, times two. Now, this statement that we have up top here is the same as this statement that I have here in the second method. Now, simply, all we're simply doing is to cancel out, okay? So this two will go into itself once, that two will go into itself once. Now, this two will go into itself once, and that two will also go into itself once. So there we have canceled out our twos. Now, if you notice what is left, my friends, uh, if you notice, we have a one left down the bottom, but at the top here, we have a one, two, three twos. So since the two is common, then we're just going to say we have a common base two, and that is raised to the, how many twos? Let's just count them, one, two, three. So we just raise that to the third power. Notice my answer here, my friends, is the same answer we got as in the first case right there, okay? So that's the whole concept behind it, okay? We're just simply canceling out uh, when working, when dividing indices of the same base, all right? Now, let's just look at some other examples just to bring this out a bit clearer. Let's say in example number two, in example number two, let's say I have a 10, base 10, and that is divided by a base 10 raised to the third power okay now simply uh we know that we are subtracting since we are dividing indices of the same base or since we are dividing exponents of the same base we're simply subtracting the powers now if you are not sure as to what power 10 would carry here you just simply look at the number how many tens are you seeing here i'm seeing one ten so 
the amount of 10 that I'm seeing, that's what I'm going to put in the power. So this is 10 to the 1 divided by 10 to the 3. Now, based on the rule, uh, the base is common. We have a common base 10. So I'm saying this is 10 raised to the first power. Let's just change the color. Raised to the first power minus 3. Okay. Now, uh, this obviously would leave us with a base 10. And we know that 1 minus 3 would leave us with a negative Two, okay, my friends. Uh, but a, a rule that we'll be looking at shortly uh, in the future is that whenever a base is raised to a negative index, uh, it can also be rewritten as you place one upon the base and the index becomes positive. So this would be 10 raised to the positive 2. Okay, so this is a 2. Remember now, this is a 2. My penmanship is not that good. Now, Basically, my friends, let's look at why this is the case. Okay, let's just pull this up a bit and let's just look at a second method to calculate a question like this. Okay, now really what we have here, my friends, we have a, we have up top, we have a 10. Okay, a 10 and this is all over and this is a second method. This is a second method of working out this problem. Okay, so this is a 10. And if you notice, how many 10s do we have? Where are we dividing by? We're dividing by 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, so this, this first, this first situation that we have here, this problem that we have here up top is the same thing as setting it out in this manner. Okay, so basically what we're saying here, 10 will go into itself once, 10 into itself once. Okay, so if you notice the 10, the, the 10 up top has cancelled out one 10 at the bottom. Okay, so really what we are left with here, we are left with up top. We have a one up top. So we have a one upon. And if you notice, how many 10s do we have at the bottom? We have a base 10. So the base 10 is common. So I'm just going to put that back. And if you should count the amount of 10s, we have one, two, 10. So we can put that raise base 10 to the power of two. Okay, hope that this was useful. And if you should notice my friends, if you should make a quick comparison, my answer that I have here, my answer that I have here, one over 10 to the two is the same as the answer that I have there, one upon 10 to the two. So it doesn't matter which way you work it out, you'll get back the same answer, okay? Now, my friends, before we go, let's look at a final example, just for you to get the general idea as to what is happening. Uh, let's look at example number three. Okay, let's say we had, let's say we had here 24 x squared. Let's say we had 24 x squared and we have a y cube, y to the third power, and that is being divided by 18, 18 x and we have a y to the fifth power okay i'm just going to show you an easy way and if you notice we have common bases here we have a x here a base x here divided by another base x over here and we have another common base which is a base y here to the third power being divided by a base y to the fifth power okay i'm just going to show you an easy way you could look at this okay my friends let's just get into it quickly here we have a 24 so we're just going to write it another way i'm going to simply say this is 24 uh multiplying x okay this is x squared times y cube and this is all being divided by and let me just change the color quickly this is all being divided by 18, okay, times x, okay, times y to the fifth power, okay? Now, basically, we could just simply expand this and cancel out, uh, just to give you the whole idea. It's the same as subtracting the powers, but it's just, a, it's just another way of looking at it. Now, we could find factors of that are common to 24 and 18. So let's just break up 24 into factors. We know that four times, this implies, this implies that four times six would give me a uh, 24, okay? And I'm just simply multiplying that by, uh, I have an X there. If you notice, I have an X squared. So it's really X is multiplying itself two times. So X times X. Okay, and if you notice, my friends, I'm multiplying again by y cubed. So y is multiplying itself three times there. So this is saying y 
times y times y okay and it's multiplication so let's just quickly get that out of the way multiply multiplied by itself okay now i'm just simply going to draw my vinculum again this horizontal line it's called a vinculum that's what i mean and if you notice 18 can be broken up into factors of 6 also so i'm going to say 3 sixes will give me an 18 so i'm just going to say my friends down here i'm going to say 3 times 6 will give me an 18 and that is multiplying if you notice i have one x down there at the bottom so i'm just going to put back my x multiply by x okay and i'm saying this is multiplying by y and that is y multiplying itself five times okay so let's just put down our y's there so this is one two three four five y's multiplying itself so let's just put our multiplication sign there okay okay guys now this is pretty cool from here if you notice this can be easily cancelled out quickly my friends i can just simply look at this now and say six will cancel six okay and if you notice x will cancel this x there okay leaving me with one x up top if you notice i have three y's up top so i'm just going to cancel out by saying this y into itself will go once and that will cancel that that y will cancel that y also and this y will cancel this y okay so all i'm doing i'm looking it up top in my numerators to see what i have left up, up top now if you notice up top i have a four here so i have a four and when I go across, um, everything is cancelled out there. So I have an X there. So up top, I have a 4X. And down bottom, I would have... Down bottom, I have a 3. And if you notice, everything is gone. But I have two Ys at the bottom. Okay? So I have a 3Y squared. Okay? So that's another way of looking at it. How you could work that out. Okay, my friends? Instead of subtracting the powers, if you're not sure. I hope that this was useful. Feel free to ask a question or make a comment if you're still not sure. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.